is that? Somebody said it's like a mild form of dementia. Or, you, know, you know what I think it's from? I think it's from being married for 60 years, getting nagged every day, and never once looking at your wife being like, you know what, how about you shut the fuck up? How about that? Hey, I got it, you're not happy. You know, well then fucking leave! <laughs> is it that or do they like wear you down? I think they wear you down. Because I know as a young man, I had a lot more spring in my step. Young guys, your girl gives you shit, you know? You go for a drive. Where's this relationship going? This feels weird. We need to talk. Hey, fuck you, lady. You get in the car, you go for a drive. Punch the ceiling a couple times. You scream out the window, bitch! You know? You get it out. You get it out before your face gets all twisted up. Get it out. Back to me. Then what happens? What happens? You stay in the relationship. You stay in the relationship, right? You get married. 15 years later, you got a couple of kids, you got a little gut going, right? She starts in well on you with that whole laundry list of stuff you gotta do because you're married. Susie has ballet practice, it gets over at two. Make sure you're there at two. You were there at two at two the other day, and she's very upset. No, you were, you were. I actually documented the record on my Facebook page. And you want to give her an uppercut. You want to give her an uppercut. No, it's a natural thought, it's a natural thought. But you don't, you never lead with an uppercut. You set it up with a jab, you get inside, you come right up through the cleavage, you rock that head back, you set it right across the linoleum, take that dirty pistol out, you lay it next to him, wipe off the door handle, I'm fucking with you. No, you don't do that. <laughs> no, you don't. You never hit a woman. You should never hit a woman. You're gonna get caught, you're gonna go to jail, you're gonna get raped. It's awful. You don't, you don't do that, right? Well, what do you do now? What are you gonna do now, right? You're married, right? You can't yell because your kids are there. You can't go for a drive. You don't have a cool car anymore. You got like some caravan with those sticky children in the corn handprints all over the windshield. So what do you do? You go down in the basement and you just do like that whisper yelling. <laughs> and then I think just one day, you, you're just too old. You're just too old. You're tired. You've been married like 60 years. Your body's breaking down. You blew your knee out at the Y playing pickup ball like 30 years earlier in the 50 and older league, you know? And you just wanna watch the game. And she comes in that one last time, right? Just to annoy you, yeah, yeah. just picking on you. Yeah, you always mean to my mother and I always resented you for her. Why can't you bet more like your brother, right? And you start to, you know what, fuck this, I'm not listening to this, right? And you go to get up. And that's when it hits you that the day before was the last day you had the quad strength to get up and out of your favorite chair. And that's when the panic sets in. You're like, oh shit. Dude, I can't get up. Oh my God. I gotta listen to this for the rest of my life. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> that's what it is. 